Hello everyone, welcome to plus equal. I will show you how to change play mode color or also known as play mode tint. If you notice when I hit play, the colors change to a almost purple color here, right? And I will explain why this happens and why play mode is so important. But if you only want to to see how to change the color, uh, I, will, I will do it first, okay? So this is very easy, you just go to edit and you have preference here and with these tools you have colors, okay? And you have a ton of colors here for for a lot of stuff but you want to, to change the play mode tint or the play mode color. So this is my color when I hit play, you can see it here, okay? And I can change this color to whatever I want. Uh, usually people like a, a kind of red warning color. Um, I use that color so for so many years that I'm not used to it anymore. And I wanted to change it to another color so I found, I found this color to be appropriate to my mood. <laughs> but you should find your own color, okay? It's, it's not mandatory either to have this purple color or, or the red one you find your own color and now I will explain you why this is so important. Uh, display mode color is very important because whenever you make changes in the scene uh, you can have these tabs. Let me change something here. So we have the scene here and I will show you with an object. Okay we have this, this cube right there. Okay and I will hit play and I'll change, I'll put it down there, okay? And you think, okay, that fits, that fits what, I, what I need to, for my game but then you forget you are in play mode and when you cancel play mode uh, what you have done in the scene will reset, okay? For the, before, from the time you, you hit play so we can we have some some tricks here we we can hit play and we can move the object around and for example we can save his position by going to his transform oops okay now this is his new position okay see the the values changing there and if i copy this copy component and now i I need to, to exit the play mode because it's mandatory to do it. Uh, the cube is still here, okay? And we, we are kind of like, ah, damn. Uh, all, the, all our work to nothing. But we can go here and paste what we copied before. And we have our cube in our perfect position. Imagine that, okay? That's a simple example uh, of how to use play mode to change objects but also be aware that the color is very important to keep you to to warn you that you are in play mode don't do much changes in play mode because they will not be effective and that's it for this little little tutorial on in how to change the the background color of play mode in the next video we will talk a, a little bit about the unity editor ui uh, the hierarchy, the scene and all this stuff, we will talk about this in the next video. I really like the support so far. Thank you for watching and I will see you there. Stay safe.